At the most basic level, nuclear power plants use heat to create high-pressure steam, which turns turbines that create electricity. It all starts with the fuel, which is the two bundles in the innermost part of the nuclear reactor. Each tube is filled with uranium oxide, the fuel used in nuclear fission. It looks like the process is about to start. Under controlled conditions, when the nucleus of a uranium atom is hit by a neutron, it splits into two. When this happens, two or three additional neutrons are produced, along with a large amount of energy in the form of heat. These additional neutrons then collide with other uranium atoms, creating more reactions, a controlled chain reaction. This process generates a vast and steady supply of heat. Control rods are an essential part of the process and part of the numerous safety systems in the plant. They move up and down in the fuel bundle to control the nuclear reactions and ensure an appropriate temperature within the reactor. The heat created by this controlled nuclear reaction increases the temperature of water that is circulating through pipes inside the reactor. Pumps and pipes supply hot water to the steam generator. In the steam generator, the hot water from the reactor passes through U-shaped tubes and heats the water outside the tubes before returning to the reactor. The controlled high temperature, high pressure steam produced inside the steam generator travels quickly into the turbine building. The steam flows over the turbines. It condenses back into water as it travels between a set of pipes filled with seawater. The rotating turbine turns an electrical generator that is connected to it, generating the electricity we use.